Hey friends, happy Friday. Today is fun Friday. Can you believe that we've been doing distance learning for five weeks plus one week of vacation? We've been at home for six weeks now. Unbelievable. They first thought it was going to be two weeks. Then they said three. Then they said, we don't know. <laughs> and now they're saying it's going to be for oh, the rest of the guys. school year. So I'm really proud of all the work that you've been doing at home and how much learning you've been doing Hi. with the help of your Hi. parents. Hi. Hi. Okay, they hear you. So let's get started. Today, I want to do calendar. Then I also want to do a few facts about frogs so that we can fan finish our report on frogs, okay? All right, let's do the calendar. And I've been getting, I've been starting to say let's get started on my videos, not because I want to, but because you guys do your <laughs> videos on your flip grids, um, you start saying let's get started. And so now I'm starting to say, let's get started. I don't like it. I, it's, I feel, uh, it feels a little weird when I say that. All right, here we go. Um, today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then we start again. Boom! Oh, Lucita, you like it. Hey, today is Fun Friday, capital T. Capital T. Capital T. O. O. D. D. A. A. Y. Y. Space, space, space. A. Two fingers. Fingers. Is. It. I. I. S. It. Do you hear an echo or do you hear Lucinda? Friday. Capital F. Capital A. R. R. I. I. D. D. A. Y. D. Y. Comma. Comma. All right, today we're in the month of April, April 24th. We're getting so close to Owen's birthday and Sofia Carias's birthday. So today is April 24th. We're going to spell April. Capital A. P. R. I. L. Today is Friday, April 24th. Comma. 2020. And the, I forgot to do fish. Fish. Frog. Frog. Butterfly. Fish. Frog. Fish. Butterfly. Fish. The short date is April is number four. Dash twenty four dash twenty. It's getting a lot hotter now, huh? You can feel that. Um, we got here to distance learning when it was still pretty cold, and we've had a lot of rainy days. But it's we're definitely really into spring now. All right, we've been in school. 147 days, 147, 40, and then seven, 147 days. Now, I just realized that we haven't been practicing our Mother's Day songs. So, let me bring it out right now, and let's see if I remember. Sometimes mom says don't do this. Sometimes mom says don't 
do that, right? Isn't that what that goes? I'm looking. Yeah, here we go. Tell your mom to go away for a second. All right. Sometimes mom says, don't do this. Sometimes mom says, don't do that. Sometimes, uh, she still loves me that I know. Why? Because she tells me so. Sometimes mom says, let's do this. Sometimes mom says, kiss, 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 right? Okay, so, and then I had another one that was very little, had a little lamb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mommy is my special friend, special friend, special friend. Mommy is my special friend, I like the things we do. Mom and I have lots of fun, lots of fun, lots of fun. Mom and I have lots of fun. I like to be with her. Mommy takes good care of me, care of me, care of me. Mommy takes good care of me because she loves me so. And then we were thinking about adding another part to that one. Maybe something that, um, where you love her, right? All right, good practice. Let's talk about frogs. I have a book that um, we haven't read, Fantastic Frogs by Penelope Arlon. Look at how cute those little guys are right? A student donated this book to me. It's Elliot Strong. That's a kid from another class. It's an information book because it has a table of contents. All about frogs. Listen, what's that? A, what's that? A, was that a croak? Look, was that a wave in the water? Can you spot a frog? All around you, frogs are hanging out in damp, wet places. Now, one street over from my house, when we're walking our dog at night, there's a house that has a little pond. And when we're walking at the end of the street, we can hear croak, rabbit, rabbit. ¿Verdad que sí, Lucita? Yeah. But then we get close and they stop. They can tell we're close by, but we can hear them. And there's all kinds of frogs. They've got tree frogs. They've got an edible frog, a frog that you can eat. Oh yeah, some people do like to eat frog legs. An ornate horn frog, it's got horns. A bullfrog, a marsh frog, a imbamburu tree frog, a Malayan horn frog, nice. Amazing bodies. Adult frogs use lungs to breathe like you do. Frogs also breathe through their skin. Their skin must stay wet for them to breathe. That's why they look for wet places to live. Um, it says frogs make sticky slime to help keep their skin wet. Frogs can pull off old skin to show new skin, then they eat their old skin. Imagine if you took off your old skin and then ate it, kind of gross. And then that they're slimy on the outside. Ooh. Frogs are small animals. Danger hides in the water and on land. Um, oh. Frogs use their senses to spot danger. Their bodies help them hop away or hide from hungry predators. They have really long legs. Look at that frog, you guys. Isn't it pretty? Does it have all the colors? They have webbed feet, sticky toe, sticky toe pads, 
help the frog hang on to leaves. So they've got suction cups. And behind the eye, it says, the ear listens to for sounds. It's like a little circle. So it doesn't have ears like ours. That means that they are not that great at listening because the animals that have bigger ears, they, they can listen better. Huh, the frog can spot trouble with its big eyes. It has three eyelids for each eye. Three eyelids, we have only one, right? But they have three. There's one that's kind of see through like that. Kind of cool. They can jump and swim really, really well, right? It says it can leap more than 20 times its own length. So if it's this big, it can jump 20 times that. So it would be a lot. It says that there are other animals that have webbed feet like they do. Remember how webbed feet helps them to swim? And they says ducks, otters, penguins, and pe human flippers. So when people wear their flippers, that makes them webbed. Hmm. There's different colors. And they can camouflage, so you can't see them. You can't even see that one, it looks like a tree bark. But there's a frog in there. It's hard to see. They camouflage. Um, and they have sticky tongues. You see it? All right, so today we have to do our conclusion sentence. Say conclusion sentence. All right, so in our conclusion sentence, basically we say almost the same thing that we said at the topic sentence. I know a lot about frogs. That's our topic sentence. So our conclusion sentence almost sounds like the top because what we're telling the reader who reads your report, you're telling them, that see, I do know a lot about frogs because you told them lots of things. We said, I know a lot about frogs, right? And then we said, baby frogs are called tadpoles. So the reader's like, wow, that kid really does know about frogs. They know one fact. And then we said, frogs are cold-blooded and have wet skin. Then they're like, ooh, two facts about frogs. Wow, that kid knows a lot about frogs. And then we said one more fact. Frogs have sticky feet and tongues. Well, that book also said that it, it had sticky teeth, sticky, um, sticky tongues and and legs and feet that can stick on, on a tree leaf. So now we're gonna do the conclusion. At the conclusion, we could say, I know a lot about frogs, the same thing. We could say the same thing, or we can say an opinion, like why do you like frogs? Or what's your favorite part about a frog? It's the conclusion, it kind of um, finishes your report. All right, so I'm thinking, hmm, what could we write? I like frogs because blah, blah, blah. You've got to come up with the blah, 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 not me. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I like that idea, Mrs. Rodriguez. Oh, your brain is sizzling today, Mrs. Rodriguez. Or is it because it's really hot? It's hot, I don't have air conditioning like we would at Cabrillo School. Oh no, there's no AC here, a roommate. Oh, sorry, in my house. Oh, the conclusion is not yellow. The conclusion is green. Rosita's gonna get hurt. 
Lucita, no te lo pongas arriba de tu cabeza. She's lifting weights. And she's putting them over her head. She's um, bodybuilding. All right, so in the conclusion, we're going to write, I like frogs because blah, blah, blah. You've got to tell me what that blah, blah, blah is. You've got to do it by yourself. So easy, start a sentence with a capital I, with a capital letter. I space like <laughs> frogs. I'm going to sweep for er, er, all frog. Frogs. I like frogs because I want you to write because by your by yourself because blah 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 blah. So you have to come up with why you like frogs. I hope you like frogs. I like them. I think they're kind of cute, and I like their superpowers of jumping. I like their ability to have sticky tongues. I like that they do have metamorphosis. They turn from a fish to a to to a frog, from a from a water animal to a land animal. I like that. Um, I'm watching my dog. She wants to jump in the door, the window. All right, so let's do, I want you to finish that up and then draw a picture of something that you like about the frogs. Capiche? Capiche. Good. All right. What is she doing? Oh, someone is mowing her lawn. And when someone mows their lawn, my dog gets really scared of the lawnmower, and then she tries to jump into our house. We've got to figure that out. Okay. And, okay, so this is what I also want you to do. I want you to work on Starfall. Um, no, I'm sorry, connected. Well, no, I think her Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, I want you to go to level nine. I want you to do this one that says nose. This one that says long O. This one that says Robert and Mr. Mole, and I want you to do this one that says Video Chunky, okay? And I want you to catch up on work. We already did our writing, and then I want you to do, um, let's see, where do I stop sharing? I want you to work on page 719. Dile a Rafa que salga para afuera con la bonita un ratito, mija. 719, because we're still doing 3D shapes, right? All the way to 720, 721, and 722. And then I want you to go to Starfall all again. 
and you're going to do one about, well, let me double. Let me see, make sure that I'm sharing the sound. And I'm gonna go back and you're going to be doing that one that's called Make Shapes. I go to Geometry and Measurements. Make Shapes. How many rectangles make this square? One. Two. Good one. You placed this rectangle above the center rectangle. Oh, okay. And so what? Okay. Three. Great. You placed this rectangle below the center rectangle. Three rectangles make this square. All right, so we'll do that one. And what else? And make shapes. We're gonna zoom today. I want you to make sure you finish um, uploading your Flipgrid about shapes, 3D shapes, your animal art project, and all of the things that you have to do for the animal art project. And I have a resource for your parents. All right, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys, have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday, April 27th. Okay, say bye, Lucita. Bye.